Hey everyone, I am Akash and I welcome you all to this channel. So friends, in this video, we are going to solve another front-end machine coding question. So this question was asked to one of my friend in front-end interview. So friends, the question was to create a modal and the modal should close on escape click and it should also close on outside click. So friends, before moving on to code, I would just like to tell you that you can one-to-one -one connect with me for like any career guidance or like getting your resume reviewed or for mock interview with the help of this particular link the link is in the description box go check it out now let's quickly open one online code editor and let's get started so friends this is what is given to us we will be given a button and we have to open the modal on this button click so this is what we are going to code in this particular video the backdrop and a simple modal with the heading with the close button and this dummy text and this modal will be close on this close button click or escape click or we can say outside click cool so now let's see the code so it's a simple code like this is our index.js the entry path in inside which we have this app and inside this app we have simple heading and a simple button cool now what you can do is you can start coding the modal first so for that what we are going to do is we are going to code the we are going to create a component folder first Now inside these components, we can have one file that will be modal.js. And friends, always remember you have to code in hurry, but you have to code in a neat and clean manner. And always keep your code modular. So we are going to simply create one function component. Cool. Now inside this function component, what we can do is let's have a look at this modal. So we have this backdrop. So we have to have one div for backdrop. Overlay we can also say. After that, we are going to have one div for this modal, basically modal. And then inside that, we are going to have one div for, for this modal header in which we will be having this heading and close button. And then we are going to have this pan, basically this content. Okay, so let's quickly create it. So friends, we have created a div for modal backdrop. Now let's quickly create a div for content and header as well. So cool. Now what we can do is we can create two span, one for the title and one for the close button. Cool. So friends, we have created one span for title and for close button now what else we can do is after this modal header we can create one span for the dummy text so i have added this dummy text as well now what we have to do is we simply need to go to this app.js and we have to import our modal cool now friends we are going to create one state because as you are seeing uh, when we have like simply added this content, this is starting to render over here only. So what we can do is we are going to have one state by default, its value will be false. Now let's quickly add a handler. So we can simply add the handler over here only, like on click. And inside this on click, what we are going to do is we are simply going to toggle the state. Let's show not uh, toggling basically we can simply say the true like uh, set it to true and over here what we can do is simply add one ternary operator like if show is true then only show it else show the null now one more thing we need to make our modal like reusable and scalable so what we can do is friends you can take this uh, like modal demo as a prop in the title and for now what i'm doing is i'm simply taking the handle close from the props let's quickly create handle close inside this we can simply do set show as false cool now as you can see um, our content is gone now when we are going to click on this then only it will be visible cool now what we can do is over here let's quickly destructure it
handle close and inside this on click we can add the handle close good so now friends what we are going to do is our basic structure is complete now let's quickly create the css so friends the basic css is given to us like the body color and the button color and just ignore it we are going to add our css like for the okay so for model backdrop So friends this is the css for our backdrop let's have a look so we have got our overlay you can say overlay or backdrop so what we have done is we have simply given a position fix and a background color of black with this alpha transparency and these are the top bottom left right zero so now let's quickly add the css for modal content for modal content let's have a look it should have background color as white and the color should be black and it is in center so let's have a look so cool as we can see we have created a css for modal content as well like position absolute background color color and this is a css to make it like align center and padding we have given 16 pixel border radius of 10 pixel and minimum width of 320 pixel so it looks cool now now what we can do is let's have a style for header now let's quickly add a style for the title and the close button so we are not going to do anything fancy simple font size of 20 pixel let's say and a font weight of 600 and one more thing the last thing that is uh, to give it a cursor of pointer like cursor pointer so this is the basic CSS that we have added nothing fancy so and our model as you can see it it also looks good so yeah now friends let's add another functionalities so let's see if it is getting closed on this on clicking this close button yeah so basic functionality is working cool so now let's go step by step so friends now let's have a look at how we can close this modal on escape click so let's quickly write the code for that as well so inside the use spec what we are going to do is we are going to handle uh, like we are going to add the listener okay and that listener will be on key down whenever we are going to press any key cool and we are going to listen for the inside that event that we are going to get we are going to listen for the key code that will be 27 because 27 is the key code for escape so let's see how we are going to do that So friends this is a simple code that we have written we have simply added one event listener on key down and we are calling this function key down and inside this we are checking if key code is equals to 27 that is for escape we are simply calling our handle close and on unmount we are also removing the event listener let's see it in action and on pressing escape yeah it's closing now let's proceed to the third point and that was uh, if we are going to click outside then it should close so friends the simplest thing that you guys can do in front of the interviewer is like have this on click and over here we can simply have this cool so we have simply added this on click to this div and we are simply doing set show as false so let's see if it works or not so friends can you guess why it is not working when we are clicking on this button so it is not working because over here we have done that show true just give me a second inside this what we can do is let's have this e over here and let's have this e dot stop propagation over here so now let's have a look cool so yeah 
so you can have this like you know simplest trick in front of the interviewer but you also need to get your basics clear what was happening is when we are clicking on this button so event is getting like you have heard about uh, like event bubbling so event is bubbling upwards and it is also getting captured by this div and over here what we are doing is we are setting it to false so that's why it was not working and now let's have a look on a skip click also it's closing and it's opening also and on outside click as well it's getting closed so friends this is it for this small video we have simply created a modal and we have added few basic functionalities of closing it on escape click and closing it on outside click and i've also made one small video like on check outside click in the past you can check that particular video as well i will drop that link in the description box so friends if you have learned something new from this video then please subscribe to this channel and do share this video with your friends thank you very much thank you for watching